Here we are for a second edition of Erner Berry's Food Tasting. This time around we have seafood burgers as a sample for us to take a look at today. It's a new trend that's making its way into the food service sector as well as uh, retail establishments. We were able to get fresh ground fish from a uh, supplier down in St. Petersburg, Florida that's Savon Seafood. Fortunate enough for them to send us up some salmon, some fresh tuna, mahi, and rainbow trout. The, the fifth fresh fish burger that we have today to sample is actually uh, something that we picked up at a local retail establishment and that is frozen shrimp and uh, we ground that up that's provided by uh, Sensi Seafood. So let's introduce the panel for today's seafood burger sampling. I'm Terrence Wells, not only am I hosting, but I am going to indulge as well in the seafood burgers. Next up is... I'm Russ Whitman. I'm Brian Moscajeri. And I'm Caroline Heert. The first burger that we'll be test tasting today or sampling is a farm-raised rainbow trout burger, fresh obviously, ground up with an Ernerberry recipe. So let's get started here. Caroline, what do you think of the trout? I really like it. It's got a nice light flavor. It doesn't taste very fishy at all. It's almost like a tuna fish kind of texture, but it doesn't have that fishy kind of taste. It's really light. Which one did you prefer, Brian? I like the one with the, the fixings. It gave it a little bit more flavor. I think it's a little plain just kind of by itself. I, I really enjoyed it. I liked it. Uh, I liked the one with the fixings also, but I tend to like the heavier uh, swordfish and tuna steaks and, and flavorful fish, and I didn't expect the trout to be to my liking, but I really enjoyed it. Very interesting. Obviously someone that has some experience eating seafood right there. Next up, we are going to try the shrimp burger, which came from a local retail outlet, a uh, local retail case. The, the shrimp was frozen, packaged by Sensi Seafood, and ground up uh, by Marianne Ziccarelli, our seafood uh, expert market reporter. So two of the main binding ingredients that I used um, were egg and mayonnaise, and I didn't use both in any one recipe. I chose one or the other. Also, um, Italian-style breadcrumbs or panko was used. So I prepared them this morning. I would say they were refrigerated by noon, and they probably spent two hours in the refrigerator. And they probably would stay together a little bit better if you um, gave it a little bit more time in the fridge. First up, Caroline, what did you think? I really like the shrimp burger. It's got a nice, light, summery kind of taste. I like the addition of the citrus flavors and the vegetables that are used within the patty. It's not holding together like your typical burger, but at the same time, I'm still getting plenty of shrimp in every bite, and I really like the flavor. Overall, I mean, I prefer the taste of shrimp um, to trout, and if I was craving shrimp, like, this is definitely something that I would go for. And I also did like the one without the fixings. The shrimp didn't hold together as well, and I did prefer it without the fixings. The shrimp had a little bit more flavor to it and maybe didn't require the fixings as much as, as a trout. Well, could you tell that it was frozen shrimp rather than fresh shrimp? Um, I could not. Most of the shrimp that I eat at home is initially frozen. Um, I, I do buy fresh shrimp once in a while when it's available and it's featured, uh, but I could not tell the difference. Next up, we have some fresh ground mahi-mahi burgers. Brian Muscajiri, what did you think of the Mahi Mahi burger? Right off the bat, you could tell it's a little bit more dry than the, the first two. It needed a little bit of something else. The, the plain one wasn't as enjoyable as the one with a little bit more of the toppings. It definitely has held together the best out of all the burgers that we've had so far. Mm -hmm. And with this, I'm looking for a little bit more citrus, a little more fruit, maybe pineapple, maybe more lemon. Well, this one I was surprised at. Um, I love Mahi Mahi, and I'm used to it in fish tacos, but it just didn't have the flavor profile that the sea uh, trout did, or I guess it's rainbow trout did, um, nor the shrimp. Um, the shrimp were, uh, much, was much better. And I guess, frankly, if somebody had told me this was the trout, I would have believed them because it has a uh, much milder uh, flavor profile and it seems to be a little bit mushier on presentation than the trout and I would have expected the opposite. And our next burger for the day is a wild caught salmon burger. Russ, what were your thoughts? For me, the flavor profile was a little bit overwhelming uh, on the salmon. Um, it just seemed to kind of take away, certainly, I, I happen to like the uh, toppings and the salmon and, and the uh, sauce here, uh, so it really was overwhelming for me. Um, the consistency was good and it held together very well. 
It did have a strong flavor, like Russ said, but I'm actually surprised that it um, wasn't more flavorful. Um, sometimes I don't like salmon because that um, salmon flavor can overpower it, and this was actually a little bit better um, than what I was expecting. I'd actually eat it again. I have to say that this is probably my least favorite so far. I thought it was very, very pungent with flavor and it was a bit too much. Um, I did prefer the one with the fixings because it just kind of compensated a little bit for the salmon flavor that was not my favorite. But it did hold well, hold together very well. And our final burger for the day is a fresh ground tuna burger. This was the best tuna fish sandwich I ever had. And I say it like that because it really, to me, wasn't like a burger so much. It was delicious, it had a wonderful flavor profile, it was moist, um, but I wouldn't call it a burger. I thought this was excellent. It held together the best, it was the most like a burger, it was juicy when I bit into it, and I absolutely loved the flavor. I liked it without toppings, I liked it with toppings, I'm already thinking of other toppings to put on it. I'd like to see avocado and maybe some other kinds of uh, sauces and whatnot, but this was excellent. I really enjoyed this. And that's us signing off again for the second edition of Erner Berry's Food Sampling. I uh, want to send a special thanks to our own seafood market reporter, Marianne Ziccarelli, for being the chef in the kitchen, for putting together this wonderful meal for all of us to test and sample. Thank you very much, Marianne, and see you next time.